for you, I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. <laughs> Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now... Have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. As a team of nuclear physicists take on four old ladies from Followed at 8pm by award-winning documentary series, The Shape of Man, which tonight looks at the history of the new length song and its importance during the... You day. should be getting a signal from the studio soon. At 9pm, sit back and relax with multiple award-winning movie, The Freedom of... When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Oh. Corn and mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. You know CV makes me come out with pasta. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. Now I show love. You're trying to kill them. And yet you persist. Oh. Going five, four. It's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. Our main story is tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be the throw to the news titles on screen two. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys honors Andy's totally independent and corners the fly market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hamsley's win sports personality of the year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic right. Back That's two, in three, National two, one. Lovely mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. The votes are in, and it's a decisive win for advance. The landslide. Now listen, mate. We often get a bit of interference around this time of night, so keep your eye on the machine on the bottom right. You can move that white dot up and down, avoiding the interference using the yellow knob or your scroll wheel. Of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. We'll be going live to Advance HQ to hear the co-leader's acceptance. And three, two... One advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need Jeremy. I need you to fill up the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Ugh. 
thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. Well, I thought that was our little secret. He doesn't remember anything. <laughs> I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. to the National Nightly News. Welcome back Later we'll be hearing from shock election winners Later advance. But first off, ready to go to Megan on screen four. Megan Wolf is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan, Megan? Wolf, culture Thank correspondent. You, and today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare right, to the go to Clatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you. The being with you here today is a lot Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. Movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yes. Well, as I said to Peter well, at the rack, Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. <laughs> Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter... What a wild ride this has been! What a wild Did you know what ride this has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie right is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story. Been on that show a bit long. Fight for a love that surpasses all. A love, of course. A free love, of course. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it. But I really am not in it for the awards. Really Although, those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So... If you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan. And not easy to answer. Like you, like you. I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will Cut. bleed. And often, that's how it feels. Doesn't it? That's how it feels. Doesn't it? Bleeding. Bleeding. Giving. Bleeding. Suffering Give. for one's audience. I suppose in the end I do it for the difference it I makes. suppose in the end I do it I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people the little people. But most of all I think I do it for the positive change all, that I can I bring about in the world. Change. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh well. <laughs> Well, now you're asking. Historic election now result. Asking. Indeed. Historic, historic is the word. Well, indeed. Historic difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. Remember the 10 second rule. I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. 
Oh, oh, well, don't worry, you won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. She yeah. did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Medicated, which opens next week. Right, they've swapped the short Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Doctor. I don't understand. Oh, it looks like Blunder Clatch is losing it in the studio. I'd love to hear what he's saying, but don't switch to it now. You can go to the archive when the broadcast's done. We keep you think everything. I don't know that. Seriously, we've had worse. Five, four, three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Cut to the outside broadcast. Go for it, Pat. Okay. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. And, well, where do I start? What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick they had against us. But you, the people, nice. you saw right through their shit. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. Makes me coarser than the grand is funny. Memorable. <laughs> but to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that Advance are not a political party. A party's what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. 
a better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shit in pants on and opening their just a checkbox. Again, colourfully put, but not inaccurate. <laughs> Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know this. Or probably you, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow, we will be introducing sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today, we revoked your passports. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see, when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shite. So to you posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their private nice. clubs. The, the people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And tomorrow, we'll start making it fair again. Just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Well, an interesting acceptance speech well, there from the leaders of the class. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. Right, that's all you've got. Good job, Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. Any more boring politics, then? Is this some weird fever dream? Am I dying now? You should be so lucky. Right there in your lap. I'll see you tomorrow night. You're not coming for a drink? No, got a date. Try not to get murdered. Most people come into the archive room when they're done with a broadcast. That way you can see what you did and how it looked to the public. As you can see, there's three sections to the archive. Broadcasts, that's what you've put out. Rushes, which is all the stuff that was on all the screens. And adverts, which is any advert that you've chosen to show. So let's have a look at the broadcasts. Okay, on the left you can see all the broadcasts that you've done. You can also get to hear from the main menu if you don't actually want to do a broadcast, you just want to see some of your past work. Select any of those and click load tape. Why not watch what you just did? When you're done, hit back. In a few moments we'll be going live to tonight's national nightly news. But before that, let's take a look at what... Coming up later on tonight on Channel 1. At 7 o'clock, it's the semi-final of the quotation game. And it's a male Viking... Business all the way up to 11.15, where, as usual... Don't forget... Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hams leaves when sports personality... Okay, these four 
four screens, they're exactly the same as the four screens that feed you the studio signal when you're doing the actual news. Of course, the difference here is you can mute any screen you like or any combination of screens and you can have a listen to what was going on behind the scenes. Just select any segment, that's any bit between ad breaks over on the left, and hit play. When you're done checking out the backstage secrets, hit back. Pop. Prawn and mayonnaise. Mm. You know seafood makes me come out in pustules. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist Pop. going by. Mm. These aren't my cards. Please tell me these aren't my cards. No, they're the right ones, apparently. Oh, but this gives me nothing, Jenny. They must see that. I know. I think they think you won't have anything to say. Oh, for God's sake, come on. It's a huge day. <laughs> it's not an... Absolute... Our main stories tonight.